Yo, what's up? In today's video, I'll be unboxing and reviewing this fragrance, Anal Abiad Rouge. This is from Latafa. I ordered it from Amazon. It's only 60 milliliter, and I bought it for around uh, $11, so it's very quite cheap. So this is the box, as you can see. And by the way, yeah, this is a clone of uh, Baccarat Rouge. So I think they are copying it. Also, I saw many comments and reviews. They are saying they are copying uh, Baccarat Rouge. And yeah, Latafa is very famous for cloning uh, fragrances. So now I will I'll be unboxing and reviewing this fragrance. And it's a unisex, by the way. This is how the bottle looks like. This one can be removed. It's a removable one. This is how the bottle looks like. Now I'll spray it, I spray it for the first time and see how it smells like. It smells good. I can smell a lot of alcohol, maybe because it's still new and closed. But it smells uh, very fruity. Uh, there's a pineapple note. The top notes are Nashi Pear, Comquat, and Bergamot. The middle notes are Caramel and Geranium. The base notes are Ambergris, Musk, and Oak Moss. So now I will stop the video for a few weeks and come back and I will tell you my honest review about this fragrance. What's up? So I came back after two weeks and I will give you my honest review about this fragrance now. This is the worst fragrance I ever tried. I'm sorry if someone will be offended but from what I'm saying, but this is the truth. I will tell you now my honest review about this fragrance. So obviously um, the opening is full of alcohol. It smells like spirito, like alcohol, pure alcohol. There is no smell of any fragrance in the opening. After like a few minutes, you can start smelling this fragrance. It smells like um, Arabic uh, gum, like a dry gum with a little bit of sweetness and fruit, fruitness. It smells dry, weird, synthetic, fruity. It doesn't smell expensive at all. I would say the ingredients are very synth synthetic and fake. It's a feminine smell. But the, the smell is very weak. You can say like almost it's full of alcohol with a little bit of um, perfume drops in this fragrance. So mostly it's an alcohol fragrance. I think it's full of alcohol and they put um, Baccarat Rouge drops in this fragrance. So it's very weak, it's very bad. I would say um, the projection would be, there's no projection. <laughs> so the longevity may be 30 minutes on the skin and that's it. There is no projection, there is no sayage, it's very weak. Also my skin was burning after uh, spraying this fragrance on my skin, especially when I went to the gym or I was sweating outside. So it reacts with the skin in a bad way, especially if you are sweating or going to the gym or something, so avoid that. Um, it's really bad. Whenever I spray on my skin after a few minutes I start um, scratching my skin, like it causes me some allergy, I don't know, it's very weird. I would not advise you to buy this fragrance. It doesn't have any performance. It's very cheap, it's synthetic. It might cause you a skin allergy. It's really bad, to be honest. This is one of the worst fragrances I ever tried. I don't know why it's of, it's hyped on the internet. I don't know why. I don't know, the original one is much better. So yeah, I regret buying this fragrance, although, although it was very cheap, maybe $12, $12 or something like that. But avoid this fragrance. I'm sorry if I offended someone, but this is my honest review of this fragrance. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave your comments. Thanks a lot for watching and have a good day. Bye bye.